have to do, what you have to understand and learn is how to go from blocking to lead generation, from messaging to lead qualification, from tagging to brand awareness, from bookmarking to engagement, from forums to customer service, and from profiles to product development for your business. We've got all of this social media for personal benefit, but now we have to learn how to do social media for business purposes. Social media is scary. It's just like the phone was. You know, there were people when the phone came into existence that said, a phone is a fad? I'm not getting a phone. I want to do business face to face. It's just a fad. It's going to go away. Do you know a business today without a phone? No, neither do I. Email was the same way. What are we going to do? Employees will have the ability to send an email from our business to anybody about anything. Oh my gosh, it could destroy our business. Do you know a business without email today? No. There is no difference in social media, folks. As I said in the beginning, it's not whether you're going to do it. It's how well you're going to do it. You need to hire someone that's going to monitor your online presence. And as I said, it's not good to just get somebody in your office that knows a little bit about it. Unless you are going to designate time during the day for them to do this. If you're going to pick someone in your office that's adept at social media, what you need to say to them is, I've got four hours of your day is spent on social media and four hours of your day is spent on sales, if they're a salesperson. Whichever. But they, they can't do it in their spare time. It's not possible for them to do it for a company in spare time. The benefits of social media allows you to massively promote your brand. You realize that in social media, it's to the whole world. You can even, there's, there's aspects of social media where if you wanted to send something to everybody in North Alabama, you can pick that. You can go to LinkedIn and find everybody on LinkedIn that's in North Alabama. You can find everybody in Facebook that's in North Alabama. It can be as pointed as you want it to be, or it can be to cover the world. Free marketing. You don't get better marketing than this. You don't get better marketing. It doesn't cost you a thing. It doesn't cost you one thing. Public testimonials. I have 40, 40 something testimonials on my LinkedIn profile. You have no idea what those testimonials have done for me in the realms of social media. Because somebody goes there and they see all of these people saying, singing your praises about things, they think, well, God, they must have something going on. Lead generation, building relationships, expert positioning. You can position yourself as the expert, not your competition. No matter how, no matter how powerfully they have presented themselves as the experts in the small world, physical world that you live in, if you understand how to do social media, you can position yourself as the expert in the real world. What that means is at the bottom of your blog, you have a spot for, for comments. Now you just, you've got to have a little bit of a thick skin on this one because you're going to have people that are going to post to your blog and they're going to say, this is the silliest bunch of crap I've ever heard. That's just people. That's just people. But you know what? If you don't be offended by that. See, this is where, this is where we're going. We have to become transparent. We have to be willing to speak back to those naysayers. We have to be willing to speak back to those rude people. We have to be willing to stand up and say, oh no, you're looking at it wrong. And say it with a smile on their face through social media. If we're willing to do that, you're going to get some people who are going to post comments to your blog that are going to be fantastic. And then somebody's going to pop in and post a response to them and the network grows.